Shiny Pokemon. Some, you know, are great. Some are just terrible. Some are just awful. Some just make people literally want to go cry. You know that feeling of when you finally find a shiny Pokemon after hours of hunting or maybe just randomly stumbling upon one? Sometimes that adrenaline and excitement can just be crushed when you find a Pokemon that is a shiny and it's like the worst shiny possible. So today I put a list together of 10 shiny Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet that have the worst shiny designs. The first one has to be Armor Rouge or Armor Rogue and Cyril ledge these are like two amazing pokemon like the designs of these pokemon are amazing debatably one of my favorite gen 9 pokemon but their shiny forms are just terrible literally the only difference i think is the eye color which is a very minuscule difference and it's like you have to take a double take you know to be like is that, is that a shiny i don't know if that's a shiny or not i really wish that these had just some totally different color for their shiny variants or even just like a different color like sword or like arm rocket i don't even know what to call that it's just such a shame though because these are like some of the best designed pokemon within scarlet and violet they're they look great and their shiny form is just so bad like I don't think I would ever notice. Like, I'm no shiny hunter. This would be one of those shiny hunts that I would dread doing if I was going for a complete shiny dex. You know what I'm saying? Number two is going to mimic you. You know, he's a pretty cool Pokemon, but his shiny form is not great. It's just like a grayscale version of him, just so it's like a lighter yellow almost. That's enough on its own, but it's even worse than Scarlet and Violet because it's so hard to find one of these shiny mimic yous because the shadows cast over the regular mimic use and make it look grayscale so you could be fooled so easily shiny hunting a mimic you because every mimic you is gonna look like a shiny mimic you which is another reason why this would be like one of those dreadful pokemon shiny hunts it just it would take some dedication you would have to have your screen on like full brightness you have to squint it's like is that grayscale or are those just shadows casting upon a regular mimic you number three is golden ghost so this pokemon is a really cool design in my opinion i actually really like the gold and i like the design of the pokemon but it's shiny form i think is just a very slightly different shade of gold i believe and i think the lines across his face change color and this one, I even get confused looking at a picture, a side-by-side -side picture of the shiny and regular form of Golden Gobi. Like, I, I can't even tell anymore which one's the shiny and which one's the regular. I literally forgot. It's such a hard-to-notice difference, which kind of sucks because this is also a really cool Pokemon, but it's like the golden regular form is already really, really cool. Maybe the reason why they didn't change his color from gold to a different color for the shiny form is because his name is Golden Go. Like, he has golden in the name. I don't know. Either way still not a good shiny the next one is bax caliber so this is also one of my favorite pokemon in generation 9 and i was gonna shiny hunt him until i found out that his shiny variant is just terrible literally the only difference is his hands are a different color that is just such a shame because once again this is a really cool design i always have enjoyed like the dinosaur prehistoric looking pokemon and bax caliber such a really cool design but it would just be so much cooler if his shiny form was like a totally different color like imagine like a green or like a red bax caliber or something like that i just feel like having the smallest change of his hands being a different color is just just did this pokemon dirty like even if the spikes on his back even matched the new colors of his hands for the shiny form that would actually be pretty sick like a pink razor back looking back caliber i think that'd be pretty neat next up we got iron hands so this is one of the paradox pokemon which i think the paradox pokemon are pretty cool but iron hands shiny form is pretty dumb it almost looks like the regular form and the regular form almost looks like the shiny form to me because because the difference between a shiny iron hands and a regular iron hands is his head is a different color his head turns silver rather than blue which the regular form is like a bluish head which honestly looks more like the shiny form they should have done the yellow color on iron hands in a different color maybe change that to like blue or something i feel like that would be a noticeable difference i like the metallic silvery look to him but just changing his head color, you know, very small difference. So actually, now thinking about this, I think this is the only Pokemon on the list that isn't Gen 9, which is Garchomp. Everyone already knows about Garchomp Shiny. I know I'm not being unique by saying this, but it's such a shame because his it's a sick Pokemon. It's one of my favorite Pokemon. I actually have a Shiny Garchomp on Pokemon Go. I know Pokemon Go Shinies are different than real pokemon mainline game shinies you know what i'm saying they're easier to catch i think his color goes from blue 
to a slightly different shade of blue. Maybe they just wanted him to stay the same because he already is a really cool looking Pokemon with a cool color, but imagine like an orange Garchomp. I think that would be super sick. I feel like it was a disservice to him by changing it to a lighter shade of blue. This next one might be the worst shiny Pokemon of all time, and it is the Paldan Tauros. It literally goes, I'm pretty sure, from black to black. I also am having a difficult time telling the difference between the regular and the shiny looking at photos. I think this might be the hardest Pokemon to shiny hunt, maybe. Coming, you know, that's coming from someone that doesn't shiny hunt. But yeah, definitely not a Pokemon I would even care to get a shiny about. Next up, we got Watchroll, which I actually caught a wild shiny Watchroll full odds, like early on, Scarlet and Violet. I was hunting for a Palafin, and then I just randomly stumbled upon the shiny Watchroll. I almost missed it. The color change, you know, isn't like terrible, but I feel like the color change choice was poor, in my opinion. Like, Watchroll's color just kind of turns more dull, in my opinion, and more lifeless. I kind of like the regular form better, honestly, but I obviously kept them on my team because that was like the electric Pokemon I actually wanted to keep on my Gen 9 team. And I, it, you know, it's a shiny still, still cool to see. And then right after that, I actually caught a Gyarados, a shiny Gyarados, which was pretty sick. Anyways, that's besides the point. I just wish that this would be a completely different color as well. Like, I feel like a shiny Pokemon should be drastically different from their regular form. You know what I'm saying? Like, a shiny Pokemon should be like, wow, that is a shiny Pokemon. It should be a jaw-dropping moment where you see a Pokemon with a totally different color. Next up, we got Tandem Mouse and Mouse, Mousehold, Mousehold, I can't pronounce that right. I'm pretty sure the only difference in this Pokemon is just like the slightest color difference in the stomach. The still like the same whitish grayish Pokemon, but with a very lightly change in the stomach. This one looks like a menace just to hunt, you know what I'm saying? This is the one that you, like, every single Pokemon you see, you'd have to really look at. Because if they're all the same color, you're gonna have to see the front of it to see the difference of the stomach color. This one just looks like a pain, in my opinion, to, to Shiny Hunt. I really like the design of the Pokemon, though. Like, I think it's a really cool design, but, man, I just can't imagine Shiny Hunting this. I've been watching a lot of Shiny Hunting videos on YouTube recently. The dedication that some people have to Shiny Hunting is crazy. So props to everyone that shiny hunts. I actually really want to do a shiny hunt video in the future. Maybe like a challenge type of thing. I think that'd be pretty exciting. I'm not a shiny hunter by any means. And I don't even have the shiny charm in Scarlet and Violet. But I, I know you don't technically need that. But it definitely helps. So probably going to try to get that shiny charm. And then maybe I'll do a shiny hunt video in the future. The last one on this list is Tynemo. Tynemo is a cool Pokemon. But a shiny variant is not so great. He pretty much turns from like white to slightly more blue. And I feel like this is really hard to notice, especially because he's a small Pokemon. Like he's very tiny. This would be a hunt that would be pretty difficult. You really, really have to squint at this one to see the difference. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you did. And let me know if you want to see a part two. And let me know if you want to see a part two or maybe a video about the best looking shiny Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet. And also, I didn't mention this early in the video, but I'm doing a giveaway at 10,000 subscribers where I will give away a $20 eShop gift card for your Switch. Once I hit 10,000, then I'll announce that winner. So all you have to do to enter that giveaway is just subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and comment down below letting me know that you want to be in the giveaway. Yeah, have a good day, guys, and I hope you enjoyed the video.